MVP versus ESPN after this. We take games seriously. I'm going way back in time for this buried treasure. This is a game called Blast Chamber, and it was uh, available for the PlayStation 1 back in 1996. It's definitely not state-of-the-art. I mean, the graphics are pretty weak. You're talking really skimpy little tiny 3D dudes. But what I like about this title is that it was so original. It was very, very clever for its day. Basically, it's one of those future sports types games. But what they've done is they've set up that kind of future sports thing. And you play characters that have time bombs strapped to them. And what you have to do is race around inside of these environments and not blow up your bomb. You have to pick up these crystals and run back to your goal and throw them in there to sort of give you extra time on your time bomb or shorten the time bomb on your opponents. I mean, like I said, the graphics aren't great, the sounds are pretty mediocre as well, but there aren't many games that play like Blast Chamber. If you're looking for an original experience that's got some very clever ideas in there, go check this out. Blast Chamber, PlayStation 1. Welcome to Versus. We've got a very cool one for you guys. This time it is two baseball games. We've got EA's MVP Baseball 2004 against Sega's ESPN Major League Baseball. We took a look at them uh, both on the Xbox, but the ESPN game is available for the PlayStation 2, and of course EA's game is available for all the consoles and the PC. So let's get started then. What did you think about the graphics for these two games? Well, well the graphics are really amazing in both games. Yes. ESPN, the stadiums are really phenomenal. I mean, you go to Yankee Stadium and you go out there and you see all the headstones and all that stuff out there, Memorial Park, it's awesome. But the faces are pasted on in yeah. ESPN. I mean, they obviously use the actual pictures and stuff like that. But and, they don't and move at all, yeah, and know. they look like mannequins, whereas the MVP unbelievable. is unbelievable. Yeah, the the faces, eyes move, their jaw lines talking move, to each they're other. talking. And you know? really get a sense of the characters of these baseball players as they're walking up to the plate and stuff like that. It's really a nice stuff there. The players look better in Way MVP. better in MVP. The stadiums look better in ESPN. And in the mocap stuff, it's pretty much dead even. I don't think there's a clear winner right. here in the graphics at all. All right, let's talk about the audio for these two games. Let's start with MVP. What did you think of the audio in that game? Well, the audio, the crowd sounds and the actual in-game sounds, you could actually hear players talking to each other. Yeah. But I thought the commentary on ESPN was a lot better. I, don't I mean, know it a lot really better. sounds. It really sounds, you know, and it's because you're so familiar with those voices they use. Lowell is at the plate and he swings and misses here for strike one. Overall audio experience. So for me, I preferred MVP. I thought it was a, a much more solid audio experience. Again, for me, it's a toss-up because ESPN did the commentary better. MVP did the in-game stuff better. Neither one is bad. Okay, now let's talk about the most important part here, obviously. It's the gameplay in each of these titles. Let's right. talk first about MVP. We're doing the gameplay there. One of the things that bothered me is they have this whole kind of golf swing meter Over for everything. I like the way they've set all that up. I think it's really pretty to look at, but it is also totally disorienting because it takes your focus and you're looking at a million different things on screen. I wish you could kind of just clean that up a little bit. I thought the camera angles in MVP weren't as good either because it looked too low to the field. It was hard sometimes to get the ball right away. Yeah, you don't I, always know where it's landing, right? When exactly. It and in the ESPN game, it follows it's the, the ball. It's the opposite, yes. right? And the ESPN camera angles are extremely well done, except for on ESPN, they have first person Again, mode. what is it with this first person? Uh, oh, no. And it's a great concept in theory. Yeah. First pitch to it. He had a big rip at that one. But for me, overall, I had more fun with the ESPN game. And I think it was because of the whole meter thing with MVP kind right. of threw me off. Well, I really enjoyed MVP. I like the idea that they, they're trying something new and fresh with this game. ESPN's a great playing game. It was very easy to jump in and play, but it didn't feel like that much of an improvement from previous Sega baseball well, That's World Series baseball in the past has been, it's it's always been, been really best. good. If I had my choice, though, if PlayStation 2, I'd go for MVP because you can play it online. On the Xbox, I would go for ESPN because you can play it online. Xbox Live. What would you score MVP baseball? MVP, I would give an 8. I would give that one a 9. What would you score ESPN Major League Baseball? I would also give it an 8. I would give that a 9. Okay, right. well. So there you go. I think overall, like you can overall, say. Overall, they're dead even. There's no losers. Uh, 
So you got to try them both and decide for yourself. Sorry. Today on the show, we took a look at Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow for the Xbox. This game features incredible depth in both the single player and multiplayer modes, but some of the single player missions are a little too linear. Also on the Xbox, we looked at Trivial Pursuit Unhinged. This is a fast and surprisingly fun interpretation of the board game, and you can play it online. It has pretty basic production values, though. For the GameCube, we looked at Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. This farming simulation features very unique and addictive gameplay, but the audio is horrible, and this type of game isn't for everyone, as Tommy clearly illustrated. In Versus, we looked at MVP Baseball 2004 from EA Sports, which is available for all the systems. This is very slick baseball with tons of features, collectible elements, and innovative controls. We looked at MVP against ESPN Major League Baseball from Sega for the Xbox. This is also a very slick baseball game with great features, tight controls, and an unnecessary first-person mode. When it came down to it, Tommy and I couldn't pick a clear winner. In hardware, we looked at Hip Gear's 2.4 GHz wireless controller for the PlayStation 2. We liked the buttons and the grips on this thing, but we didn't like that we had interference problems. Not recommended. On the Game Boy Advance, I reviewed Spyro Attack of the Rhinox. This is a great looking Spyro game with some cool mini games, but some of the levels feel a little bit claustrophobic. This is great. See, this is a great game. You get online, you go on Xbox Live, yep. and you can, you well, know, kind of play deathmatch. Or is always good. Capture the flag. Capture the flag. Trivial Trivial Pursuit. Pursuit. Capture the flag. It's unbelievable. It's a killer, man. Yeah. The, uh, uh, how about the macho voices in the game, though? No, no, yeah, it's like Unreal. <laughs> I'm just joking. 